All right, Shalom. First and foremost of all, praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Makakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of great millstone for teaching us, the more saying truth according to Barmuel, and peace and blessings so afflict the nation of Israel. Take the spirit and power of Yahweh Shema Shai. When they get into the Lord's willing at a fine lesson on there's ups and downs in this truth. And that is very uh, normal, right? For you to be hot on fire one minute, you know, and then, uh, you know, have, have, a, have a downturn, have a down spill, right? It, 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 you know, you, you, you make mistakes. Right, you get up and you keep on fighting. Right, it's Sirach two and one. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. So we have to set our minds up knowing that we're going to be tempted, that the flesh of Yahweh, that the flesh that we are in is going to weigh down our spirits and things are going to happen in our lives to weigh us down, to slow us down from the ministry, you know, slow us down in our prayers, slow us down in communicating with the brotherhood and, you know, talking with brothers and watching videos and reading and studying, right? So we have to, we have to know and set our mind up as a defense, you know, constantly understanding that w w this is a war. You know, we are not civilians here in Babylon the Great. You know, this is not our rest, right? This is a spiritual war that we are in. And Satan had desired to sift us, right? You know, as I did a lesson earlier this week, but the recording, uh, the volume wasn't there. So I took the lesson down. So, um, you know, we'll see where the Spirit takes us. I have, I have a, few, a few scriptures that I pulled up before, you know, um, I prepared the lesson. But this St. Luke 22 and 31, and the Lord says, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan hath desired to have you, that he may sift you as wheat. Right? And... I actually want to start at verse 28. It says, Ye are they which have continued with me in my temptations, and I appoint unto you a kingdom, as my Father have appointed unto me, that ye may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom, and sit on thrones judging the twelve tribes of Israel. <coughs> So they who continue with Yahweh Shai in his, in, in in their tempta his temptations, you know, basically enduring the enduring your cross, right, bearing your cross and enduring unto the end, unto you the heavenly Father through Yahweh Shai, is going to appoint unto us a kingdom for us to be joint heirs and have dominion and rulership over the earth. You know, and here it is. We've been given this wisdom and knowledge, understanding, and the situations that, different situations that brothers are in on the job, you know, dealing with the family, the woman, you know, the kids, you know, whatever situation brothers have in front of them, the world before their eyes, right? Uh, you're supposed to govern this world govern the world before your eyes, right, with the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the Holy Scriptures, you know, but before you can govern the world before your eyes, you must first learn how to govern your own mind, right? You must have rule over your spirit, right? Scriptures say, in your patience possess ye your souls, Right? So have rule in your when you're going through your suffering, you have to rule your spirit, right? Uh, be you know use wisdom, use knowledge, you know, lean on Yahweh Shemal Lean on these scriptures, 
and trust and tap into the spirit and power of Yah by Shema uh, Verse 31, And the Lord says, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan hath desired to have you, that he may sift you as wheat. Right? But I have prayed for thee, that thy faith fail not, and when thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren, right? So we're going to have ups and downs in this thing. But yeah, and through it all, Yahweh Shai is in our corner rooting for us. Praying, you know, that, that we make it through these tests, you know? And that's a beautiful thing, knowing that Yahweh Shai is in our corner. Making sure that, you know, our faith does not fail. And Lord's willing, we be part of the elect that endure unto the end. Right? And when we are converted, you know, with change of uh, 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 out of that lowest state, right? We, we strengthen, you know, our brothers, right? The body, the, the men around you, right? Speaking often one to another, you know, uh, uplifting, edifying each other, right? This is us. So we're going to have ups and downs in this truth as we go through our temptations, right? This is not an easy walk, right? That's why Yahweh he said, pray that you enter not into temptation, right? Did I read that? Um, let, me, let me make sure I, I read that part. Uh, he said, Satan, but he said, uh, Yahweh Shai said, he prayed for us. But when you jump down to Luke uh, 22, because I was reading this chapter the other day. And, oh, yep. And when you really read these chapters, you get the understanding, you know, when it talks about the two swords, you know, Yahweh, he said, it's enough. I mean, you don't, you don't even know. This St. Luke 22 and 40. And when he was at the place, he said unto them, Pray that ye enter not into temptation. Right? So Yahweh Shai told his disciples, Pray that you enter not into temptation. Right? And that's what the, um, the Lord's Prayer is all about. Right? That the Heavenly Father, St. Saint, Saint Matthew 6 and 13 Right and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, right? Because temptation sins, you know, delivers us to evil, bad times. For thine is the kingdom and power and glory forever, Amen. Right. So we're asking Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai to deliver us from temptations, to deliver us from the lust of the flesh, right? And with that comes a fight, comes a battle, right? This is um Proverbs twenty four and sixteen, for a just man falls seven times. And riseth up again. You're not going to win every battle in the flesh. Right? You're not going to always be just this outstanding, you know, guru where you don't ever get upset. Nothing ever breaks. You don't ever break character. Right? We have certain characteristics that make us godly. And that is our character as a godly individual, right? Walking in light, walking in wisdom and knowledge, you know, and we're in this flesh. So there's going to be times where we break character, where we revert back to a carnal man, you know, maybe for a second, right? Maybe for a minute, for an hour, a day, whatever it may be, but... Uh, 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 but but you rise up, right? You 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 shake off that that dust and and you snap back into the fight. You know you 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 get back into the fight. For a just man, a righteous man falls seven times, right? He's gonna even though he falls, even though he makes mistakes, Yah by Shema Shai is merciful, and rises up again. Right? He's going to rise up. 
you know, he's gonna, he's gonna uh, realize, oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> you know, I gotta get up. You know, I can't stay down forever. It says, but the wicked shall fall into mischief, right? So it, it's about rising up again, right? This, this is a fight, you know, in fights, you're gonna take some hits. Even the greats, Floyd Mayweather, you know, you know, I mean, you know, you watch his highlight. He he's taken some hits in his time, right? He got knocked down, but he always got back up, you know. And we always have to make sure we get back up, right? Uh, this is a uh, Hebrews. Um. Okay. Yep. Hebrews chapter 12, and uh, I got to start at 1. Uh, I, I didn't want to start at 1, but, you know, it's talking about Yahweh Shai. I want to get this. Wherefore, seeing we are also compassed about with such a great cloud of witnesses, right? This cloud of witnesses, you know, the holy angels, right? And all all of our haters, <laughs> You know that we that we tell them done that we're gonna make it. You know, you know we we find to be part of the heavenly Father's elect, right? You know all the name, all the gainsayers, all the naysayers, right? It says, wherefore, seeing we are also compassed about with such a great cloud of witnesses, right? The holy angels, let us lay aside every weight, right, and the sin which do so easily beset us, right? Sin is looking at something as a weight, something that weighs you down, right? So going after your lust, these things weigh you down in the spirit, right? The way you're not as proactive in the spirit of Yah by Shema Shai. And let us run with patience, right? Let us run, you know, with patience, right? The, the race is not given to to the swift. This is a marathon, right? So you run, right? You're going through your sufferings. You're going through your afflictions. Let us run with patience the race that is set before us, right? I always uh, quote this quote, you know, in my mind, right? As a warrior, the only road left is the one that leads to the end, right? We're already, you know... As the soldiers, as the warriors of Yahweh by Shema shine this spiritual warfare, and and the only road left is the one that leads to the end. We just have to keep pushing forward, looking on to Yahweh Shai, <coughs> right? Looking at Yahweh Shai for the example, the author and finisher of our faith. Who for the joy that was set before him, right? The joy, right? And you can't let anyone steal your joy, steal your peace of the kingdom of heaven, right? The, the, the glory that's going to come to those that endure. We can't let people steal our peace, right? Yahweh Shai is our peace, right? For the jo Who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, right? When despising the same, he thought little of the shame and is set down at the right hand of the throne of the Heavenly Father, right? So here it is. Uh, Yahweh Shai, you know, he, he, he understood what the prize was, right? Let's jump down to verse 5. And ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you as unto children, right? My son, so we're, we're the sons of God, right? To them, Yahweh Shai has given us the power to become the sons of God once again. And not just by nationality, but is because it is who we are. Right, it, it it it's our inward man, it's our character that that shows us that we are the sons of God. It says, "My son, despise not thou the chastening of the Almighty." 
right? The chastening, you know? When the Heavenly Father chastises us, you know, you know, we deserve it, right? When, you know, but, but he, he's, he's whipping us back onto the path that leads to everlasting life. And that's why we shouldn't think little of the Heavenly Father's discipline or try to cast off the discipline that the Heavenly Father requires us to have on the on a daily. My son, despise not thou the chastening of the Lord, nor faint when thou art rebuked of him. Right? And rebuke can come in many ways, right? You can rebuke yourself, right? You can curse yourself out and get back into the fight, you know, mid, mid, mid uh, round or when you uh, got to take that seat, <laughs> you know, the coach can, uh, you know, our brother, you know, in the sense of a boxing match can whip, can, can, can rebuke you, you know, get you back in shape, Right? Nor faint when thou art rebuked of him, right? Because scriptures say, as many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. So we should be zealous in repenting, making the proper corrections that are needed for us to continue in the fight. As in this fight, we are going to have ups and downs. Right? When you make a mistake, you have to meditate. Why did I make that mistake? What what led me to making that mistake? What was my mindset when, when I made that mistake? What what was I doing before that mistake was made? You know, these are questions that we have to ask ourselves. So when we're put into that same situation, we can overcome it. Right? And let's say you fell again, right? Oh, you know, slip. You know, that was a slip of the tongue, you know, I have to be more patient. And you, you learn to hold your tongue more. You learn to listen more than you speak, you right? You learn these things through repetition, right? You, you get in the boxing ring, you know, you, you throw in that, that jab, you know, uh, you, you get better over time, right? Your feet work get better. For whom the Lord loveth, he chasten and scourges every son whom he receiveth, right? Because the Heavenly Father sees things in us. The Heavenly Father sees our full potential, right? And he knows when we're not operating at our full potential, right? And really, when you're going through suffering, that, 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 that makes you grow, you know, pain makes you grow. Just like when you work out, you have, you have to you have to you have to go through pain to grow. You see, if ye endure chastening, right? If you endure, if you go through the 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 sufferings and and not get offended, not not faint when the heavenly Father is putting you through these things. If you endure chastening. Yahweh dealeth with you as with sons. For what son is he whom the father chasteneth not? But if ye be without chastisement, whereof all are partakers, then are ye bastards and not sons. So we're, so we're, we're appointed uh, not only... Uh, what is that? We are, we're, 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 we're appointed. Let me see. We're, we're appointed to suffer. Um, not, we're, um, not only, not, let me, let me just type this. Not only to believe, not only, type it only. Yep, Philippians 1 and 29. Um, For unto you it is given in the behalf of Yahweh Shai not only to believe on him, but to suffer for his sake, 
having the same affliction which ye saw in me, and now here to be in me. So we've been given this gift of faith. You know, we've been given this, you know, great gift of understanding the Holy Scriptures and believing on them. And not only to believe, but but to be partakers of Yahweh Shai's sufferings, you know? Hebrews 12 and 9, Wherefore, we have had fathers of our flesh who cor which corrected us, and we gave them reverence, right? For brothers who grew up in the household, you know, or had, you know, an older brother or, you know, a, a, a male figure in your life, who corrected you, who told you, you know, when you were doing something wrong and you gave reverence to what they were saying, how how they judged you, right? And we gave them reverence. Shall we not much rather be in subjection unto the Father of spirits and live? Shall we not uh, consider what the Heavenly Father is trying to teach us, what the Heavenly Father is trying to show us in these uh, different moments when we make these mistakes and we're catching our afflictions, you know? Because Jake has the mindset of, oh, wh wh what can I get out of this? You know? It it's not about what you can get. It's about who you're going to become after you go through this suffering, right? In the sense of, you know, what can I gain, you know, or where's the benefit and where's the benefit of suffering? Jake has that attitude, you know, it's about who you're going to become. You know, I get to become someone great after after I go through this, you know, I, I'm going to be on another level. And that has to be our mindset for verily. For they verily for a few days chastise us after their own pleasure, right? Your your father, you know, he, he wants you to walk in a certain in a certain manner, right? So he chastises you according to his pleasure, that you may, you know, uh, be his delight. But he for our profit, yeah, Yahweh for our profit, that we might be partakers of his holiness. Right? So Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai is chastising us that we might be part he he he's whipping us back on the path, you know, that we might be partakers of his holiness. Now no chastening for the present time seemeth to be joyous but grievous. Afterward, it yieldeth the peaceful fruit of righteousness unto them which are exercised thereby. Wherefore, lift up the hands which hang down and the feeble knees and make straight the path for your feet. Lest that which be is lame be turned out of the way. But let it rather be healed. Right? So go through the pains. Go through your sufferings with the mindset of it's. It, this is making me better. This is making me stronger. You know? The Heavenly Father is still with me. You know? I, I, I have to learn this lesson. Right? I have to go through this pain. I have to go through this suffering. But, but when it's all said and done, I'm going to have more faith. You know? I'm going to have more trust in the Lord. Right and, and and my you know, I'm I'm gonna receive that increase, you know. I'm gonna learn from my mistakes, right? These 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 are things that we should be thinking about during the times of our afflictions. But with that, you know, Lord's willing, you're edified. To next, I wanna say, shalom.